In the South Valley, Hanford police say several adults could face felony charges after a fight broke out at a non-approved basketball game at Sierra Pacific High School over the weekend. Cell phone video shows one of what officers say are multiple fights that broke out at the event. CBS 47's Jennifer Ortega spoke with police today and joins us live in studio. Jen, this fight involved both adults and kids. Catherine, that's right. Hanford police say they have one suspect named so far, an adult that could be facing a felony charge and a possible victim that's a minor. Watch closely as a group walks in from the left side of the court and things quickly escalate. Suddenly, there's pushing and shoving. Then several people, even some adults, start throwing punches. Now you have people that don't care about who they're fighting over, we don't know what yet, but if it's the game, a rule, a foul, whatever it is, it's just kind of, it's silly and disturbing. The cell phone video recorded from inside the Sierra Pacific High School gym. Police now learning this wasn't the only fight that broke out at the game Saturday night, that another large group started throwing down in the parking lot. We're getting reports that there are multiple people fighting and there's possible other victims involved as well. Officials say when they got to the school around 5 o'clock, most of the people involved had already left. There were a couple witnesses around that they talked to, and they were able to identify a suspect and contact the victim. Now, Lieutenant Lutz says with fights this large, it's going to take some time to identify who did what. It's like everybody wants to get it on recording and put it out there that that's what they saw, where they could easily maybe put their phone away and try to, like, squash it or settle them down and break up the fight. Lieutenant James Lutz says an adult arrested for fighting a minor could face felony child endangerment charges and also battery on a child. So we're trying to gather all the information, the video footage that we have to identify these people involved to see if they're suspects, victims or witnesses, and they can help us find out what really happened and what started this fight. Now, police say there could be other adults involved facing felony charges as well. In the studio, Jennifer Ortega, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.